What up peeps, Mr. Bones back at you for day two of Wild Eye Week. Brought to you by Bronco Juggalo and the Super Slash Bros. And we're going to talk about Weird Fiction. Weird Fiction was a 2018 horror anthology movie that has four spine chilling stories. Directed by Jacob Perret, writer Jacob Perret. It's spelled P-E-R-R-E-T-T, -T. I just assume it's how it's pronounced. Starring Taylor Rhodes, Isabella Rodriguez, Mackenzie Anthony. And the synopsis says, Tune in and die. The collector's midnight Halloween special comes once a year. Sink your fangs into four tales of true terror, each one more horrifying than the last. Follow the story of a group of teens in search of a missing body, a babysitter's horrifying night, a vampire porn star, and two girls as they uncover what may be the end of the world as we know it. This is Weird Fiction. So this is a cool-ass uh, 80 Strobeck anthology horror. It's a kind of film with like this grainy look to make it look old. And it has four stories. And the first one is uh, Good Night Daddy, which is a short story about a serial killer. He wears a black trench coat and a black, like, cherub mask, sort of like in the movie Valentine, but it's black. And there's these people coming up missing. And then it's about these two boys and this girl. There's these two boys, and then there's a girl that goes to the school they go to that one of them likes. And the two boys decide to skip prom or something, some dance, and go look for dead bodies look for the people that are missing they almost hit this girl on the road and they pick her up and one of them lets a slip that they're looking for gonna go look for the dead body and she's like I know where they are takes them home and shows them under the floorboards because it turns out her dad is the killer and so yeah he comes home catches the kids in his house and tries to kill them decent little story and the second one is Night of the Sitter. It's about this boy who likes this girl. Common trend, huh? And it's weird. She's like bribing him to watch her weird brother babysit him and while she goes somewhere. And if you do this, when I get back, I'll let you do whatever you want to me and I'll go to prom with you. And so he watches the kid. He's only like a few years younger than him. And when he puts him to bed, he's like, I want you to check my closet for monsters and then check under the bed. And it turns out he has a monster in his room. And the whole uh, episode is them fighting the monster, trying to kill it. It was a pretty cool little story. Kind of funny ending. And the next one is uh, Incubus which is about this young guy who makes porn and apparently got bit by a vampire and he's a vampire uh, he's got this neighbor that likes him and she tells him she's had a crush on him for a long time and she peeks on him through a, a hole in her closet and stuff and, but turns out she says I know what you are She's been not picking and, and snooping on him because she likes him because she wants to kill him because she knows he's a vampire. Another decent little story. And then the last one was uh, Cosmic Terror. It's about these two sisters and something crashes in their backyard and one of them wants to keep it as a pet. And it has, it's an alien and it has some weird long name she can't pronounce so she nicknames it Squid. And lets it stay in a camping tent in her room. And the other one has a boyfriend that she likes. And well, that thing he had some kind of like a piece of meteor or something with him instead of it's from his planet and the soil of his ground or whatever. She takes it and goes to school with it and goes to the bathroom playing with it and it like squirts all this blue shit all over which uh, I guess like infected her and so she goes to this party with her boyfriend and a bunch of other people and 
she goes they go to the bathroom because that's the only room available and she's sick and he thinks he's going to try to play around with her in the bathroom and she pukes blue shit all over his face and all these people are outside in the bathroom wanting to poke around and make fun of them or something the door opens and they come out like some pod people alien undead things and attack the others and turn them all into it's kind of like a younger version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is a fun watch. I'd recommend anyone check it out that likes horror and anthologies. Horror anthologies. And that's what I watched. Peace.